people. Put on your hat as the chairman of a key uh, House committee right now. The Department of Homeland Security, the Inspector General, you probably saw the report released yesterday that the U.S. Secret Service is strained right now. And in their words, employees are leaving faster than the agency can hire special agents. Uh, that's pretty shocking, uh, give, given the responsibility they have to protect the president of the United States, the vice president, their families, all these candidates right now. Uh, what was your reaction when you read that report? Well, it's stunning because this administration and Secretary Jay Johnson, it, they're not making the fundamental changes that they need to. And we, myself and Elijah Cummings, arm in arm, have been investigating this for a long period of time. They're not making those adjustments. Uh, the mission panel, the independent group that came in after the guy in Crocs was able to jump the wall, the fence and get into the White House. Uh, the, the, the board recommended that they plus up some 300 agents and officers. But guess what? They have less people now than they did even before then. And so, so more than 70 percent of the time when somebody has a, a scheduled day off, they get called into work. And so this is it is, a matter of money? Are these candidates, no, no. is the president in any danger right now because of this? I think these uh, agents are, and officers are extremely overworked. They're tired. You don't want these agents and officers coming in so grumpy. Uh, there's a reason why attrition is at almost all-time record high. They can't seem to hire them fast enough. They need to do what I think I've suggested, which is let's bring in some U.S. Marshals, FBI agents, and others to supplement in an election year. But does it affect security? Yes, absolutely. It puts people at vulnerability. When you have an agent or an officer with a gun near the president and they're not alert, attentive, and happy, then you've got uh, a situation that could be potentially very dangerous. And you're having to put these people on the road between the presidential candidates in an election year and the president and the first family and traveling internationally. Huge strain, and they have not solved it. Saudi Arabia, the president is visiting Saudi Arabia right now. The fourth visit to Saudi Arabia since taking office. Uh, he arrived there and Apparently, uh, they snubbed him at the airport. They didn't send a high-level official. They sent sort of a little uh, regional leader, if you will. It was seen as a snub. This U.S.-Saudi relationship right now is strained. Uh, what, what, what do you think needs to be done to fix it? Well, they are a critical partner. And you look at proximity with Iran, they're very upset, the Saudis are, with that they did the real deal with, uh, with Iran. Uh, we have some critical critical things that we need to work out with with Saudi Arabia. As it relates to the uh, information on the 9-11 report, I, I would vote to open that up. Have That's you read right. those 28 pages? I, I, honestly, that happened before I got into Congress. I have not. But you know what? We err in this country on the side of openness and transparency. Let the truth take it. But do you believe that there was official Saudi involvement in 9-11? We know 15 of the 19 hijackers were Saudis. But do you believe that someone at a high position in the Saudi government may have been involved? I hope not, but I don't know. And I want to be able to read that report just as you and the rest of the American people should be able to look at that. The truth is going to surface. And let's vote for openness and transparency wherever that may take. And this legislation now that uh, potentially would allow American citizens to sue, to sue the Saudi government, the uh, president says he's going to veto it. Where do you stand? Oh, I would, I, A, I would vote to open it up and be able to read it. And B, I do think they should be able to do that. Uh, relief through the courts is part of the American way. Jason Chaffetz, thanks very much for coming in. Thanks, the congressman from Utah, always good to have you here in the Situation Room.